Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis and today I decided to do a video on how I dye my hair slash cover up my grays. I'm not old, but for whatever reason, my hair just wants to have grays in it. And I think a lot of that goes along with the fact that my hair is already naturally so dark. If I were a blonde, I don't think that I would have this problem at all. But anyways, the color that I've been using for a really long time, or I guess the brand, is the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color brand right here. I usually get the black color, just plain black, but I talked to my beautician and because I like to get highlights in my hair every once in a while, she said not to get the, she said don't get black. Uh, get like a really really deep brown so that way it's easier to lift but my grays were a hot mess and the last time I did brown it didn't last long so this time I ended up getting the soft black color um, it says that it has keratin in it and it is ammonia free that's just what the box says I decided to go for a soft black because um, it wasn't a uh, black black. I've done indigo before and I've done a brown, like the darkest brown. I've done black on my hair and so far so good with this soft black. It's not quite as harsh as say like the normal black is and I have a feeling that it's going to last longer than like my indigo did on my hair. But yeah, so I've been using this color for a while on my roots. I'm not fully gray. I'm really not fully gray, but I have enough grays in my hair to be like, what the hell? Don't let me part it down the middle. But anyways, uh, this is my after. I actually dyed my hair a few days ago and actually decided to flatten it for Christmas. So I wore it curly for um, about four or five days. But this is the end result right here. I have no grays. You will see in my video the grays that I had like right up in here. But yeah, this is just how I dye my hair. I don't know if it's right. It's what works for me. I'm pretty sure if they sell it in the drugstore, like you don't need a license to buy it. You can do it however you want. This is just how I do it. It's easy application, easy mixing it up. And yes, yeah, so if you guys wanna see how I dye my hair, mainly my roots, just please keep watching. Oh yeah, and I don't dye my ends just because they're already black, so I just do my roots, but this is just how I dye my roots. So if you guys wanna check it out, then just please keep watching. That's so corny. Okay, so in the box comes number one, which is the cream color developer, number two, is the ammonia free colorant and then number three is the conditioner. I pulled out the directions and attached to the directions are a set of gloves. Alright, so we take the lid off of number one and number two as you see is labeled. So what we do is we pour that in, and actually in step number one, we should have cut off the very tip of the lid of the color cream developer, which is step one, but I forgot to do it. But as you can see, when you cut it off, a little bit starts pouring out right there, and that's why you're supposed to cut it off at first. So you don't lose any of the product, but I mean, Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay, so now we are going to start the process of dyeing. As you guys can see where my grays are. They were mostly in the front. I know I made them sound worse than what they were, but in real life they're pretty bad. And I can't see the back of my head, so I'm pretty sure that they're pretty bad back there as well. But the first thing I do is I section my hair. And then I start to apply the hair dye as messily as I can, I guess. I'm probably every licensed beautician's worst nightmare, but this is what it is. And I just apply the color to my roots and I just do this all over my head. So just watch and enjoy. <laughs>
done with the roots of my entire head, what I'll do is I will go back in where I know my grays are and I will reapply the color to it. Then whenever I'm finished reapplying the color all over my head, I like to use an alcohol wipe and wipe off any of the dye that I may have gotten on my skin so that my skin doesn't die as well. Well, I mean, my skin won't actually die, but you know what I mean. Then what I do, I use a shower cap or a plastic bag and I put it over my hair. I sit under my heated bonnet for about 20 or 30 minutes and then I will leave the color in for another 15 minutes. So a total of 45 minutes just to make sure that everything's covered and everything's dyed. And when I come out of the dryer, I will rinse my hair using water only. So I don't use any shampoo because if you use shampoo, it will shampoo the color that you just put in your hair out of your hair. That's why I decided to wear my hair curly for a few days so that the color would settle in my hair. And after these steps are finished, all I do is I deep conditioned. And for this particular time, I deep conditioned with the Carol Daughters Almond Milk Daily Damage Repair Ultra Nourishing Hair Mask. So yeah, that's it. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.